sessions that we've been hosting focus on innovation, which we feel is really important moving forward for the next AAL2 program. And we feel that the emphasis needs to be on, it, on innovation and several components of innovation because it is now a key driver to market success. It is now the context in which successful companies are playing and succeeding. And it's also one of the key barriers or reasons that companies who don't understand the importance of innovation and who don't build cultures of innovation within their companies um, are actually failing. What we've seen, actually, we've had quite good attendance. So that says to us that people are interested and recognizing that they need to consider innovation, implement the aspects of innovation, and make it core to what they're doing. Um, some of the key themes that have actually come out um, of, of some of the sessions were that, one, um, there's a need for developers and there's a need for the AL community to clearly be able to define what the problem is. Um, moving on from that, there's also an issue that was highlighted that there's a total disconnect and mismatch between what developers and people who work, professionals who work in the ambient assisted living sectors, um, what they deem to be the issues and the problems as to what the final consumer, the person who will buy the product, deems to be the, the, the issue. So we need to delve down and use methodologies to understand what it is consumers really want. I think they should be looking towards developing two key criteria. One is their sense of creativity and their capacity, the capacity of their organization to understand the challenges, understand the consumer market, and understand what is required for growth. The second one is to be able to change, um, to be adaptable and to be flexible in their thinking, in their approaches um, to the challenges. And thirdly, collaboration is key. Um, successful companies have opened up themselves to actually working with people, working with other sectors. So some of the key questions like what does um, diversity have to do with this? Diversity in terms of how we approach risk, how we approach the value or apply the values inherent in other organizations. So design, what does that sector have to contribute? How can that add value? Materials transport, retail, hotel and tourism, all these are valued sectors that have valuable insights, methodologies and technologies that we can use to enable our projects to be more successful. I'm very optimistic about AAL2 going forward. Um, having said that, I think we need to keep our eyes on the horizon. We need to support members of the AAL community in terms of their learning, exposing them to new trends. Um, it's no good supporting a program and supporting um, projects who are behind the curve. So we need to make sure that they're well placed to compete when they go to market and they understand the dynamics of the market and what what their target audiences are. They, you know, we need to change our terminology. We're no longer talking about elderly people. We're talking about consumers. We're talking about older adults. We're no longer talking about end users. We're talking about the public, people who are going to buy our products. And I think if we continue to think along these lines and you know, support our projects in a way that will give them a competitive edge in two to three years time, I think then I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased um, and I'm, I'm very positive about the outcomes of, another, of the next program. Yeah. And just finally, finally then, are we, li are we likely to see the forum take place in the UK next year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a question. Um, I, I can certainly give that some consideration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah.